Hey guys, I'm here at Ferrari Pro Scooters and today I'm going to show you how to change a grip tape. So let's get rid of the old sheet that's on the deck. You want to grab the corners and just peel nice and slow so you don't have little leftovers. Those guys can get a little annoying. If you can't reach the corners, what you can do is always grab a blade, get underneath there, and it should come right off. If your old grip tape is really stuck on there, what you can also do is get a hair dryer, just go over it, just go over your deck a couple times, and it'll come off really easy. What I like to do is take the whole rear end off, the brake, spacers, and wheel. It just makes it easier, easier to get around the corners, make the drop out more flush with the grip tape. So there's many ways to do grip tape. You can start from the head tube down, you don't even have to do the dropouts. You can cut them up into a whole bunch of pieces and just slap them on. But today we're going to do the whole deck. That's how we do it here at Broadway Pro Scooters. Before you apply your grip tape, just make sure there's no dust or oil, anything, anything that can get in the way of the adhesive, just so that it can stick a lot nicer and longer. So to get around the head tube, what you want to do first is cut an upside down Y on the grip tape. bubbles that just means you have to cut the wire a little deeper and this is probably the trickiest part what you want to do is grab a flathead and trace around the welds kind of leave a mark so you know where to cut with the blade so start from the back, from the back. just press down you'll feel the welds as you go around with the flathead Push against the head tube. Once you do that, just go over it one more time just so that you can cut through it with the blade a lot easier. Now it's time to trace. Just go over with the blade nice and slow so you don't slide off and cut around the deck by accident. Now for the dropouts, you can feel the soft spot, just cut right through there, push in a little bit, and press against the deck and you should be able to cut around it really nice and smooth. If you, if you don't want to go from there, what you can do is always grab a flathead, get it nice and soft. Always smooth out the edges so that you can cut through the grip tape a lot easier. Just do this all around the deck.
So you probably have a whole bunch of leftover grip tape. You want to grab that and file the edges out so your grip tape doesn't peel as you ride. Just file it out all the way, all around the deck. Now that you guys know how to install a grip tape, next time you buy a deck and grip tape separately, you guys know what to do. Thanks for watching. My name is Saki. Subscribe to our channel here. Go to our website here. Again, thank you. Peace.